Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Stefan's Kitchen. And this week, let's cook potato and leek soup. And this is one of my favorite things uh, recently that I've started cooking. I've been enjoying a lot of soup recently. And uh, this is probably one of the healthier options for me anyways, because uh, it, it, it's, it's, it's not too bad. It tastes good, and, you know, it has some bad things. Well, you'll just see. Anyways, these are leeks, so I already trimmed them down, took off most of the green parts on top, because they're usually plastic and rubbery, and you don't really want those. And uh, then I chopped off the bottoms. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to slit them in half, and then we're going to proceed to clean them all. And what I like to do in order to clean them is I just pretty much peel the layers apart and just wash it all the dirt. Then I'll look in between each layer and make sure there's no obvious, you know, signs of dirt. If there's any there, or if there's anything stuck on, just give them a quick rub with your thumb, just the same way I just showed you up there. And, uh, again, just do the same thing to the bottoms. And don't worry, these are fairly, uh, they're fairly flexible, and at the same time, you're going to be chopping them up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So yeah, next we're gonna chop up these leeks, and uh, yeah, not much room <laughs> in our kitchen, unfortunately, but uh, but who knows, uh, that, that'll probably change in the future anyways, so. And it's uh, it's enough room for us to do what we have to do for the two of us there, you know, living there, so. And uh, next we're adding chicken broth uh, to the mix, and um, I usually like to go with just your standard uh, tetra packs of chicken broth, two of them for this recipe, or actually three for this recipe, you'll see me add a third later on. But um, try not to go for too low of a sodium because you'll find that you're pretty much just buying expensive water in a package, and I'm not even kidding. So um, next, uh, we're going to chop up one medium or maybe even a large onion, depending on how much you like onion, and we're going to put that into the mix. And next, we're going to season it, obviously, with uh, a little bit of salt. And again, just uh, just use a small amount of salt, and then later, if you need more, you just add it in as you're cooking, just taste your broth. And that's the same thing goes for uh, the pepper as well. Just add in as much as you think that you, you need, and then you know later on just you know taste the broth and see if you need to add more. Okay, so next the thing we're gonna add there is the third tetra pack, because I realized at that point that we didn't have enough in there. Now at the same time, uh, some people like to also sweat the leeks as well in a little bit of butter, uh, which is basically just uh, turning your um, your pan on, you put it in your butter, you have your pan on, you just to kind of slow roast the uh, leeks uh, in that pan by itself until they, they just, I guess, turn translucent. And this little machine here is called a mandolin, and this is what I'm going to be using to chop up all my potatoes. And basically what it does is that blade there is going to chop off the potatoes for me, and they'll give me really nice thin slices, and there is an adjustment uh, on it so that you can have it as thick or as thin as you want. And, for these, I don't want them paper thin, obviously, but uh, you know I want to have them uh, a little bit thick, so in that way, you know they have time to cook, and eventually they're just going to turn to mush, regardless, anyways, because we're going to end up blending all this. But once you get uh, your potatoes blended, and or uh, sorry, once you get your potatoes cut up, you can just add them, you have them washed, and add them directly into the soup. And you can use roughly between 8 and 10 uh, medium to large potatoes. Uh, that's usually what I do. And next what we're going to do is we're going to scoop out all the mixture that we just cooked up on the stove. And again, all this will be pretty... You'll be able to cut through the potato with any utensil whatsoever. So uh, that's not to worry. Once everything is good and soft, you just put it right into the blender. Blend it up the same way I just did. And the next thing you do is just pour it into a bowl and reserve it until you actually empty the entire pot. Once that's done, uh, well, we're going to return it to the pot. <laughs> now, it looks kind of, you know, it's like that's it's not the nicest color in the world. But, uh, you know, back in the day when people were making this, because this is not a very expensive soup by any means. Although leeks have gone up in price these days because not as many people use them or grow them. So, But, uh, yeah, it was cheap back in the day, so I guess they didn't really care about color so much as they did about flavor. Now, next I'm going to use two cups of cream. You can also use um, evaporated milk. You can also use 2% um, milk or whole milk if you have it. Uh, anything at all really works as long as it's a milk-based product. Uh, I'm sure if you wanted to, you could use low-fat uh, Greek yogurt. That would probably work quite well. And next, we're going to fry some bacon. And that's going to be for the presentation part at the very end. And to give it a bit of texture and a bit of uh, flavor as well. And usually, I think they used to use uh, b back bacon or, uh, you know, uh, pickled uh, pork or something. But yeah, we added in some parsley, 
and uh, some chives and a little bit of butter and we'll let that cook off until it's all mixed well and then we just present it with uh, some cooked croutons some of that crumbled bacon and a little bit of parmesan cheese so if you guys enjoy the recipe recipe <laughs> Please favorite and share, and uh, by all means, if you're new to the channel and you enjoyed, uh, leave a like and subscribe. And um, yeah, hopefully you all enjoy. If you like it, uh, leave some comments if you have anything to say, and also video responses are always welcome. So, as always, thank you all for watching. I am Stefan for Stefan's Kitchen, and I'll see you soon in a new episode. See you, everyone.